Welcome to Explore the Way. In this video, I am going to explain bus arbitration logic for N-line bus. Now we are going to design a subsystem for bus arbitration logic. So first of all, what is bus arbitration logic? In the situation when one or more devices are requesting for bus access, in that case, the bus master or the bus arbitration logic decides which input device will be given bus access. That logic is called bus arbitration logic. In this case, this arbitration is based on priority of the inputs. Here, there are n input devices requesting bus access. The n input devices are A12, AN, And the corresponding output lines are a1 to the power of p2, an to the power of p. These are the output lines. This block is the bus arbitration logic. This bus arbitration logic decides for which input device the access to be given. And one more point here. A1 is the A1 has lowest priority and AN has highest priority. Always when one or more inputs are requested for bus at the same time, then highest priority among the requested inputs will be given bus access. Let us write this functionality using truth table. The truth table is like this. It has inputs. Inputs are from A1 to AN and this side outputs from A1 to the power of P to AN to the power of P. Now, first of all, if the highest priority input is enabled, irrespective of all the remaining inputs, that particular device will be given access and all the remaining are zero. Okay, we can write this statement like this. A n to the power of P is equal to A n. Only when A n is 1, then this particular output, this particular device will be given bus access. And the second case, when A n minus 1 is 1, and all the higher priority inputs are 0. Lower priority inputs may be 0 or 1. In that case, priority will be given to AN minus 1. And it will be 0. And all the remaining also 0. So, it will continue like this. And the last case, the lowest priority input is 1. It will be given access only when all the higher order inputs are 0. So, output will be given, the access will be given to lowest priority input. So, we can write like this, a n minus 1 is equal to 1 only when a n is 0 and a n minus 1 is 1, irrespective of the remaining inputs. Similarly, a n minus 2. So, it will continue till the lower, lowest priority input. Lowest priority input will be given access only when all its highest priority inputs are not enabled. Then, how to implement these equations? So, to implement these equations, First thing, first statement is AN is 1, then access will be given to that particular input. If AN minus 2, sorry, AN minus 1 is accepted and AN is 0. We can write it like this. 
an bar if an is 1 okay this transistor will turn on so an minus 1 will be 0 if an is 0 then an bar become 1 so this switch is will be closed so an minus 1 to the power of p is equal to an minus 1 so this is the highest priority one this is the next one and for the third one an minus 2 an minus 2 will be given priority or bus axis only when the two higher order inputs are 0 an minus an an minus 1 these two are 0 then it will be given axis otherwise if any one of the remaining two are asserted this output line will be 0 suppose an is 1 then output will be 0 this particular output if an minus 1 is 1 in that case also output will be 0 so this is the structure for first bit this is the structure for second bit and it is the structure for third bit and for the remaining bits from all these stages what is our observations first one the hardware requirement for hardware requirement is different for different stages and the structure become complex as the number of stages increase complexity increases and also that as the number of stages increases delay also increases finally the hardware requirement for first stage is zero only one line second stage is few number of transistors third stage more number of transistors so as the number of stages increases complex hardware requirement also increases the structure also different so this is called irregular structure these are the drawbacks with this implementation so in order to overcome this implementation regular structure can be used how to design the regular structure how to implement the regular structure the regular structure consists of the current input ai this is for ith stage we are writing this for ith stage this ith stage will be given access only when all the previous stages are zero all the previous inputs are zero then this bus grant signal will be one this bus grant signal will be one only when all the previous bits are zero so this output line will be one only when current input ai and all the previous ai is one and all the previous inputs are zero when all the previous inputs are zero this grand signal will be one so this is the expression for ai to the power of p and if this particular bit current bit ai is zero this grand signal will be passed to the next one next stage that is gi what is the expression for bus grant? 
it will be 1 when current bit is 0 and grand signal is 1. Now we have to implement this logic. To implement this, pass transistors can be used. Now let us check this operation. So here the transistor T1 and it is T2, T3, T4. T1, T3 will turn on when A i equal to 0. When A i equal to 0, A i bar become 1. Then T1, T3, these two will turn on. Then the grand signal A i equal to, sorry, grand signal G i equal to, as this transistor is closed, which is equal to G i plus 1. This is the equation. And when A i equal to 1, this transistor will turn on, because the NMOS transistor will turn on when the gate signal is at high. It acts like closure switch. Whatever G i plus 1 will come here. This is the implementation of bus arbitration logic. Then how should be the structure? The structure is like this. This is for the nth stage. Nth stage will get grand signal from the previous stage. Here the output G i plus 1 and the output G n. And the next stage A n minus 1, here the output A n minus 1 to the power of P, G n minus 1. So, it will continue like this. Here this is the last stage. Input is A 1, grand signal is from the previous stage and the output Grand signal to the next stage. This is the regular structure. Hope you understand this concept. If this concept, if this concept is useful, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.